Well, something a little different this week. Um, got this second-hand ambulance. It's supposed to be from a second-hand shop. Um, as you can hear, it makes a noise. The back axle doesn't quite fit. It's it's broken somehow. Front wheels still move all right. Um, I think what's supposed to be here is some sort of lights that's been pushed in. Uh, it did have stickers on the side. I've I've cleaned them off. Um, so what I thought about doing is just updating this a bit for my grandson. So you may remember in a previous video I built this little circuit which is just two blue flashing LEDs. So what I thought about doing is building another kit which I've got here. There's another kit. Uh, but not soldering the LEDs on the board but solder them uh, with some wires so they stick above the roof to make uh, the blue lights flashing on the roof. Um, the other thing I thought about doing is on the front where you've got two blue lights here um, I think I might drill a small hole in there and I've got a couple of red LEDs here which I think can just poke through so they can flash as well. Um, I bought a switch which is uh, in here um, so I bought a switch, just a simple on off switch um, and I thought about that might go roughly where that square is, it might just need a bit of adjustment but um, if not, might be able to mount it on one of the back panels here. Um, I've got a battery pack. Uh, I've got another battery pack here, which is two AA batteries, just the same as this one. Got a, a nine volt connection on it. Um, just a different size. Just wondering which one will fit inside here. Uh, so we've got a few things to do. First of all, what we've got to do is build this kit up. Now I won't film that because it was already. Uh, one on my YouTube channel that you can see. Uh, the only difference is, like I said, I won't mount the LEDs on the circuit. And the other thing I need to do is to take this to pieces to find out what's rattling around. Right, as I thought, um, some plastic uh, blue lights, which I presume used to go in there. I wonder, what sort of size are those? Would I be able to get that LED in there? No, that's not. That's too big to go in there. That's a shame because I could use that as a bit of a lens, but that's okay. Um, so if we can mount that in there somehow. Throw a bit of hot glue in there just to hold it in place. To hazard a guess. Um, so they're the blue lights, if you like, that used to sit on top. We've got a bit of plastic that's broken off here. That's probably used to hold the axle in place. The axle is just flapping around, so that's why that's broken. Hmm, okay. Um, right, let's move all that to one side. Okay, so first thing I think I need to do is to make up the circuit for the flashing lights. 
Right, so I've made the circuit up now. Um, the only thing I haven't put on is the LEDs, obviously, and the power that goes on this side. So let's just put that to one side for a moment. Um, on the top here was this silver square, which uh, I just simply pushed off. It's just it was held on by the sort of melted plastic here. Just a quick push, and it and it popped off. Um, so I thought that would be a good place to put the switch. And it is very close to going in there. I reckon if we just uh, a little don't know whether to use a brute force or a file. I think I might use a file first just to clean that up a bit and that might just pop in there. So we need to find somewhere to mount this. So I think what we'll do is pop it just there. Um, if you can see that, sorry, just there. Um, well, I could go there actually. What does that look like from the other side? Yeah, actually, I might might put it there. Uh, then the switch. Then the two blue LEDs there and the two red LEDs there. Um, so I had a thought. Um, let's get my pins. And I wondered if the holes for the LEDs were the same size as these. Oh, they are. Right, that's okay. What I can do then is solder a couple of pins either side for the LEDs um, and then I can use these sort of um, wires which you, you tend to use on breadboards and things. Um, it's got the little socket on there so I'll be able to put that on there um, and then take it over the inside there to where the LEDs go and then sold them up there so yeah I think that will work so let me quickly solder these pins on right so I've got the um, pins now in the circuit board uh, which are replacing the LEDs try and get that off here there we go so um, the, instead of soldering the LEDs on board, I've put these pins on there. And I took the opportunity while I was soldering iron out to put this uh, connection on, which will go onto this battery holder. Um, I thought this battery holder would be better because it's slightly smaller um, and it will fit, hopefully, on the side. Let's mount it somewhere around there. Um, a bit of hot glue I think in place or something like that I don't want to put it permanently in there because I need to take it out to um, change the batteries I wonder if it actually might be better on there if I put it on there then um, you've got more room to change the batteries hmm interesting we'll have a look at that later um, so what I wanted to do though, first thing, is to check to make sure that the circuit board actually works. So, um, right, got my LEDs, so the positive for these are in the middle. So if I just put that on there. there and hopefully okay so you can see them flashing so we know that that circuit works okay so uh, what I have to think about next is mounting them now I had a dig around and I found these two LEDs that's I find in one of the many, many boxes of junk that I've got here. 
and um, I tested them by the way just so you know on here and they are blue but they're small I think these are classes 3 mil um, LEDs so what I thought about yep, they work okay is because they're smaller will they fit inside these um, plastic um, false blue lights that wasn't in the first place and they do look at that so what does it look like that's just quite bright in there so that's better so what I can do then is to mount these back inside there and then have the LEDs inside them which will be better rather than trying to hot glue them in um, so I think that's what I'll do um, so the next thing really is to think about the wiring so if the circuit board is going to go on here somewhere um, so we need to have some wires coming to the LEDs down there and the wires going to the red LEDs up top hmm. so here's a cable with uh, the two sockets on it so we can use that Um, and we need another cable for the plus and minus so uh, just a moment right back with you now um, so we've got a blue cable here so we can use that to plug onto the circuit board and then we can solder the uh, LEDs onto here so. Twisting the cable around. And uh, what we need to do is just tin them as well, just so uh, we can solder on some later on. Right. So I reckon that will go into there. Nice. I think a, a blob of hot glue just to hold them in place. Yeah, I think we'll need to get the hot glue gun out. Right, I think it's time to bend my fingers because every time I use my glue gun it usually happens. So I'm going to um, put a drop of hot glue in here just to hold this LED in place. Um, hopefully without burning my fingers off. What happens if I...
Well, that might do it. Right, <clears throat> that's got them two done. Um, yeah, it's got a bit of hot glue on my finger, but hopefully that's not going to be burnt like it normally does. Right, let's see if we can get that out. Okay, so. Yeah, that's going to fit in there nicely. Um, what I'll do then, I think I'll need to... There's a couple of plastic shoulders there from the previously where it's been glued on. I think I'll just see if I can snip them off. nicely glued now so hopefully we can get them in place yeah that looks all right um okay so my just checking my leads, so my positive leads on the same side on both those. Right, Let's see if we can get a bit of glue in place. Need to leave them a couple of minutes just to dry off. Right, so my other thought about this was to put red LEDs in here. Um, so I need to drill a little hole just for them to poke through. So I don't quite know how this is going to turn out. So let's have a give it a blast. So let's see if a LED will fit into that. Not quite.
No, I think I might need a slightly larger drill. Right, this is a 3.5, let's give this a blast. Oh, that fits all right. Yep, that will fit in there nicely. Perfect. Right, so I can now get these two in as well. And these will require a bit of hot glue just to hold them in place. Okay, that's one done. Okay, let's try to get the other one in. We need to need a blob in there. Right, let's just leave that for a couple of minutes to dry off. Now, the other thing I thought about is this switch. Um, I'm going to put that switch on here, but it just needs a little bit taking out. So, I wonder if this will do it. There we go, that's got that in place, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put a bit of glue on the inside of that as well, just to hold it in place. that glued in so we need to leave that to set as well right so next thing we need to do is to um, just tin the wires on the LEDs so I can solder onto them
Okay. So I've got some small wire here. And what I need to do is uh, connect the positive of this to the positive of this. Um, and the longer wire is on the left and the longer wire is on the right on that one. So I need to do... It's a help if I tin this wire, won't it? There we go. That's got one done. So I need to do the same on the other two wires. So connect that one to that one, that one to that one. And then what we'll do is we'll connect these two to the main board. So we'll come back to you in a minute. Right, so that's got the wires inside sorted all. But before I go any further, I want to just double check to make sure that everything is working all right. So... I'll use my desk power supply. Um, this one back here. Turn it on. Take it up to about two and a half volts. Okay, we've got a red light on the front and a blue light on the top, so that's good. Let's try this side. Yeah, red light on the front, blue light at the top. Good. So we know that's working okay. Um, got the switch in place. That's nicely glued and dried up now. So uh, next thing we need to do is use the circuit board. So uh, we need to think about the wiring for the circuit board now. Uh, we've got the wires that we did earlier on. So... Um, we can so I'll use the blue for ground which is the outer ones if I can get them on that is one 
for the positive. That one's a bit loose, that's that feels as if it's broken somehow. Uh, it may have just popped out. Let me just try that again. Uh, well if that doesn't work that may be that, but <clears throat> now we've got that in place, what we can do is solder these onto the LEDs. So let's get that done now. What I might do is um, just resolder these later on once we know it's all working a little bit firmer. Right, that's, that's one side done. That's the other side. I hasn't quite taken that one. Just uh, see if I've got a bit more solder on it. Okay, I'm not happy with that one. I think I might come back to that later on, but that's those in place. Let's just see now that works oh, well we've got red flashing lights but no blue flashing lights Hmm, okay. 